In the previous episode, we beat the Roadside Knight and won a sword from him, completed more quests for the Miller, robbed several more houses in Ratai, and started the next tournament. Alright, we'll play this one a little bit differently. Alright, we already drew blood. Alright, we're gonna counter these guys a lot. Lots of thrusts to the face, hopefully. Yeah, the Master Strike is so broken. This is so different from the first fight that we had. And it also helps that I spent like four or five hours practicing. <laughs> oh, man. That was a long time grinding all that, that skill. But you know what? It, since I haven't played this game in a long time it was actually pretty useful for me to kind of relearn how to how to do combat in this game nice so we got agility and strength off of that that's huge Ooh, we actually got a hit on us we can also clinch and then there's not much you can do about it I should just clinch with him and just beat him in the head. This is like using Fian champions. Fucking <laughs> hell! Well, that was exhilarating. But this guy, could, this guy should be a lot better. Ooh, he countered us. But usually you get a free hit after you do the the repost. But I guess in this case maybe not. Jesus Christ. There we go, we got a hit off at least. Can we get a thrust? Nice, there we go. Alright, he's gonna repost us, so we're just not even gonna attack more than once. It's so stupid. <laughs> Alright, so that was pretty quick. He did get a couple hits on us, but that's because I was trying to hit more than I was trying to make combat maybe a little bit more interesting to watch, but So we, <laughs> we can just clinch him and beat him. Oh, wow, he actually won that clinch. Now, we don't have any combos for, for the short sword. Oh, there we go. He got us. Oh, wow, that actually did a lot of damage. All right, let's not mess around anymore. We'll just keep him in the corner, keep beating away at him. Oh, he got us once. Oh, what is going on here? This guy's getting beat to shreds. Okay, there we go. So we can move on to the... I think it's the last one. I think it's three? Yeah, the black. We should be in a lot better shape than this one. Uh, missed the wrong direction on that one. Here we go. Right, he's fast to recover. Alright, there we go. We got him. Oh, we got Headcracker. I guess it doesn't knock him out, though, because it's a tournament. It'd be kind of funny, though, if we one-tapped him. All right, he's not going to last too much longer. Oh, wow, that was really fast. <laughs> I think that was even faster than the, the weaker guys. Yeah, we just embarrassed him. Now, we have no axe skill whatsoever, so this is going to be a tough one, though. Probably just tie him up. I don't know if we have more strength than him, though. So that's going to be a tough one. 
Not that time, anyways. Let's see. We'll keep pushing into him. All right, there we go. Oh, wow. He hit us hard. All right, so maybe not. Kind of, but we need to be faster. There we go. Yeah, I think if we thrust, it's it's fast and the attack goes out long enough. So keep doing that then. Yeah, he's going to win some of these clinches, but I think we'll just keep bashing him. Yeah, he's, he's tough. Nothing a little cheese can't fix. Yeah, he's winning. All, he's winning most of these, actually. These clinches. I'm not sure why. There we go. We must be a similar strength. I think we're at like 13 now. So he's pretty strong. Oh, he gave up. Get out of here. Woo! <laughs> what did we win? I actually don't even remember. Oh, we got our balanced diet. So, yeah, we're good. All right, Hunnish. Oh, he's merged with his... <laughs> like, walked through his one of his bodyguards. Let's talk to him. Oh, we got gauntlets and 400 Groshen. That's huge. How good are these? They're worth a thousand and they got 11 armor. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. Now, I don't know if we can do more tournaments or if we're only allowed to do one. Yeah, I guess you can keep doing them. I don't know that we will. I mean, we could. It's probably not worth it. I don't know. We don't really need that gear. We also need to go collect our prize. We did uh, bet on the Tone, as Peshek says. We got to go collect it. I think we got 100 more coming our way. So we'll probably be at about 20k by the time we're done with all this. Good health. Yeah, we want our winnings. My winnings. All right, here's your winnings. Damn it. There'll be another tourney in a week or so. Would we get 500 for that? That's crazy. And actually, I think we can do a lock picking, yeah. right? We hit level 10, so we should all be right. able to get this one. Yeah, so we'll just we're giving them 500 right back, but it's worth it. Yeah, we'll take that. And I don't think we have pickpocketing high enough yet, do we? Oh no, we do. We have five, so we can do the next level of that. Yeah, that's a good deal. Agreed. Beautiful. We improved pickpocketing, but we didn't level up off of that. But this one kind of takes a while to level up anyway, so we're going to want to use that as much as we can. Now, some things we don't have any skill. Uh, let's see. Maintenance. Horseman is really low. Drinking is very, very low. Alchemy is at zero. We need to learn that. And then a lot of these. Yeah, we've basically just been training sword and nothing else. So axe, bow and mace. Although we'll probably do that after we finish the main storyline. Yeah, I'd like to focus on one and just be really good at it. And then for strength, we did hit another level. So we can take, let's see, what do we got? Mule or boar. Pretty much none of these are going to be all that great, I guess. Dreadful is kind of nice, but we need level 14. We're at 12, I think. Yeah, we're at 12. So I think probably boar is kind of nice, but I think mule is going to be really helpful. We do tend to run out of storage space and then we can't level up mule two and three unless we get the first level. So we'll do that so that takes our inventory capacity up to 137 which is really good so let's go drop stuff off and then we'll figure out what we're going to do next probably go out of this town and go do some quests somewhere else you know we could bet on the oh, tournament cool. again we did 100 last time and we ended up getting 500 back and that was pretty darn easy so we'll get some gear out of it we'll get a bunch of money and it's not going to take us that much time. And we do get a little bit of combat XP for it as well. So mine as well. So we're good on everything except for food. We could probably use a little bit more food, but we'll probably get that once we steal some stuff. Actually, nourishment's at 85. Let's go eat. Gotta progress this quest a little bit. We'll give her some wine. What are you playing at, Hal? <laughs> are you trying to get me drunk enough to have your way with me? Well, I guess you're a sight. She didn't like our alcohol. So we got to wait a little bit on this tourney quest. We'll turn that off. We do need to go up and I think this one's the stealing the, yeah, from Merhoyed. So we got to go to Merhoyed to steal. What else do we have? You know, I don't want to do Lady Stephanie's quest right now. I guess we could if we're in that area, but let's probably go do some combat. Let's go to, to kill the camp leader, do some ruin. So that's going to be on the southern end. So we got to follow around the outside and then just follow the river. We'll run right into it. Here we go. So we got to go past the bathhouse. We'll stay to the right. We're not going to go left up through the city. Thinking about stealing from these people, but I think we'll just leave them alone for now. Let's just focus on one thing at a time. Really cool looking countryside. This is beautiful. I like how the maps don't look procedurally generated and they don't look fake. Like this looks like it could actually be, you know, a hillside, like a legit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And at some point we do need to cross the river. I'm not sure where when it'll let us. Oh, here we go. 
And we're just getting past the castle, so we should be coming up to that that bandit hideout. Actually, we could go through. I think this is a miller. Yeah, there's a miller here. This is right near the stream. All right, here we go. So we're we're here. Let's actually get off our horse. All right, I see one of the bandits coming here. I don't know what he's doing on this side. Yeah, what we might want to do is actually wait for nighttime. We're a couple hours away, so we could just sit here and wait. We've got plenty of food on us. There we go. So we waited a little bit. Let's head into the camp. I can't see squat. I don't know how I'm going to edit this, to be honest. It is so dark. It's a little easier to see in the camp, the, the campfire, but hopefully it doesn't look too bad. All right, I'm seeing one bandit on the floor sleeping. There's one on guard duty up there. There's one on there. Three, four. So I see five beds. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And I see only three people. Uh, three people sleeping, one standing guard duty. There's probably one more person somewhere else. Let's see if we can sneak this body out without him noticing us. Nice. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. So we'll take his ear. We'll take... Actually, some of this stuff is pretty good. Yeah, he's got some decent stuff on him. I don't think we need to take too much, but had some cash on him at least. Sometimes there's somebody over here. No. I really want to know where that last guy is. There should be one. Alright, I can hear him chit-chatting. Alright, he's actually facing that way. We probably want to come at a more direct angle. We're just going to knock him out. I'm pretty sure there's one more. Kind of makes me nervous. We don't see him, but let's... Oh, wow, that's... <laughs> We're trying to be quiet. And here's Henry just stomping faces in. Not the brightest. All right, let's go stab a few people. So that's three. So even if that last guy comes back, we'll only have to deal with one. All right, there's four. All right, maybe not. Maybe there is only four. But let's at least grab some loot. Yeah, the leader had some pretty good stuff on him. Definitely take some of that. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I could have sworn there's supposed to be five here, but maybe he died already or something. Or he could have just gone off and he's hasn't quite made his uh, trip back yet. All right, very hard lock. We could drink some alcohol for that, but I don't think it's necessary. Now, I'm pretty sure there's something back here. Yeah, there's a cave. We can check this out. And I think there's something at the very end. Beautiful. We'll take it. Some groschen and a few other things. Oh, I see something over there. What is that? Is that a firefly or is that somebody with a torch? That looks like a torch. Ah, uh, there he is. Okay, so there was a fifth. Well, I'm really glad we, we spotted him. All right, let's get him behind him. He's going to see dead bodies soon. So we do need to get up there fairly quick. Nice, we got him. Alright, he didn't see any bodies either, so nobody spotted us. In and out. He's got a few things on him, but nothing really all that great. Now this horse is really fast. We can't claim it or use it permanently, but I mean, we could use it temporarily. It's faster than ours. And we could just whistle when we're done using it to get our old one back. So we might as well. We'll borrow it. Now we need to head up to Bernard in Neuhof. We can turn that quest in. So we just follow the river up and we should yeah. run right into it. Yeah, that was surprisingly smooth. I thought it was going to be a bit more combat there, but trying to avoid combat just for a little bit longer while we don't have any of our armor on. Yeah, this horse is really fast. Would love to keep it, but unfortunately, yeah. I don't think we can claim it, even though it's a bandit. It's a bandit horse. We should be able to claim it. That, that would make sense. And of course, Captain Bernard standing in the middle of a foyer past midnight in the rain. So we'll get a little bit of gross for helping him out and a little more for healing people and turning their ears in. So we've got another quest for a bandit camp. We're going to skip that for now. Let's head up to Merhoyed and then we can take care of that. Let's see, where are we? Neuhof, we need to head northwest let's see if we can orient ourselves here so this should be north northwest ish should be somewhere around yeah. here so we'll just keep heading this direction we'll try and stay off the roads as much as we can getting uh getting ambushed 
at this time of day or this time of night is going to be pretty bad for us. So let's see what we can do. And it is so sketchy going through the woods at night like this. I can't see anything. If if they set up an ambush, we're just going to run right into it. No way I'd be able to react in time. Right, so we're going to make our way up to that the windmill. I can see the windmill off in the distance. That's what we're targeting. And then we need to go past that in the same direction, kind of like where I'm pointing. Who's this? Wayfarer? There's two of them, back to back. It's kind of weird. But you know the drill. Let's go take all the stuff out of the pockets. Alright, we won't get everything, but we'll get most of it. Now the town we're looking for should be right over here. Right past this hill. At least it stopped raining finally. We can see a bit better. So we're in Merhoye. The stable should be up here on the right. And we gotta give up our free horse. So we can steal one of these. Let's at least make sure we get a decent one. 39. That's pretty fast. Oh, I did not mean to call my horse. Sorry, Pebbles. You definitely don't belong here, man. These are actually good horses. Jump the fence and let's just get out of here. Now we came in this direction and we need to head further south, actually. Let's head back to the windmill. And at the windmill, we can just go due south. What do you want? Whoa. That actually scared me a little bit. I right, said so this guy's by himself. We'll take that fight. And again, we missed a block there somewhere, but we don't seem to be too badly injured. Actually, we can clinch this guy up. Oh, we missed. Oh, man. That went right through his eye socket. All right, Henry, you deserve that one. <laughs> so what are we at? 86? Yeah, we barely took any damage on that. It's got a lot of alcohol on him, but not much else. Well, it was a fair battle. We get a little bit beat up, but not too bad. Yeah. So let's see. Was he the only one? Yeah, it looks like he was by himself. Now, we're actually heading towards Tomberg, which we don't really want to do. So we want to head further... Oh, Tomberg. There's Tomberg. And then we, we want to go further to the yeah. right. So let's keep heading to the right. Oh, right. We're stuck in a bush. All right. Note to self. Don't jump over bushes anymore. There we go. There's the windmill. We're, we're literally getting stuck on everything. That's yeah. like... Three bushes and two fences. <laughs> right, let's just stay clear of everything. So, windmill, we're going south, I think. We should be roughly south at this point. Let's just get a quick update. So, if we go south, we need to go south east slightly. So, I think yeah. maybe to the left a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. to the left a little bit. Yeah. Right, let's get off this road. This looks like a great place to get ambushed. Let's keep an eye on our nourishment. We've got the perk going, the balance diet. Let's make sure we don't lose that. And I freaking hit the wrong button. I accidentally drank wine and that put us over. So we just lost it. Oh, that's so stupid. I definitely hit the wrong button <laughs> and we're stuck in a ditch again. Right, let's get a little further away here. Right, let's, I, I can't see anything. We have to bring the torch out. Oh, there's a deer. That scared the crap out of me. So we're on the river. We're probably on this river. So I think if we just yeah. follow it down, we should be fine. Our horse has ankles of steel. Yeah. There we go. We're better off going without the torch now. And I do see, I think this is Ledechko. I think it's Ledechko. And that's exactly where we need to be. We'll make a left. Yep, Ledechko. So we'll make a left once yeah. we get into the town. And yeah. there's the big river we need to follow. Beautiful. Now we just have to avoid getting killed by bandits and not getting too drunk to fall off a horse. We're definitely leaning. I, I, I guess we drank a little bit too much wine and now our guy's kind of like falling off his horse. And we made it safely. Let's go turn this horse in. Call our own horse as well. I have that horse for you. 200 groschen, not I'm that much, but you put it like that. no. that's fine. I've been wondering for a while. You want me to we gotta get some jewelry now. We gotta go steal it from the Lady of Tomberg, Lady Stephanie. You're asking, you'll have we'll to do sneak it. If you do. All right, we gotta reset the clock yeah. for our, our balanced diet. So five days from now, 
Hopefully I don't fat finger anything. And I, I swear that's usually what happens. I remember doing that before. Like it's not starving that's the problem. It's overeating and it's usually because you get to hold the button down and then you know you're trying to breeze through it and you just hold it down too long and, and eat more than one thing. So we're almost home. Come on horse. You can do it. Oh. What's that? I think that's that knight from the tournament. When you beat him, he gets really pissed. Uh, we may have to shoot at him. Let's equip our Vem Braces. I think he's hiding. I'm curious if, if we can sneak up on him. I would prefer not to have to fight him. What's that? We gotta take the Vem Braces off. They make way too much noise. Who's there? Nope, he keeps moving. Alright, let's see if he cycles What's back that? out. If he if he does, we could probably take him out. Uh, man, we're, we got the debuff from being sleepy now, though. That's that's gonna complicate it. Hey, who there he goes. All right, we're gonna go for it. Hey, who's there? Oh, we got him. We got him, and we overpowered him too. Nice. You know what we should do is just take all of his stuff. Just let him walk around naked, and then when he wakes up, we'll like beat him with in a hand to hand. <laughs> we'll just beat him with our hands. All right, let's get everything over to our horse. Yeah, he's got a poison tipped blade. Pretty shady. Yeah, he set up a, a clothesline for us too. So if we ride past it on a horse, it would have taken us right off. Really glad we had pebbles instead of that really fast one that has a lot of stamina because we a horse ran out of stamina right as we got up here. Now, question is, what do we do here? We could just shoot him point blank, which I think we might end up doing. Let's just give him an arrow. See how he handles it. Oh, he is now a body. <laughs> we'll take our arrow back. Awesome. So Black Peter didn't survive. He tried to ambush us. We outsmarted him. Uh, more accurately, we got lucky. But I uh, will take some luck. Now, what happens to this thing? Nothing, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess if you go too fast, then it hits you. But if you go slow enough, it's no big deal. Well, that's good to know. At least next time, if we come across it, we could just slow down and then walk right through it. And we don't have a mission or a quest to turn in here. So I think we just, let's just dump everything. Probably need to sleep a little bit. Our energy is a little low. Health is not really that low, but we could use a little rest. Let's get everything off the horse and then... Yeah, I think we'll just put everything back that we're not using. And I don't know how we got so many lockpicks. I know we've been picking a few up off the of bodies, but let's get rid of a lot of these. We probably only need like two, but let's keep four just in case. And we did get a small armorer's kit, so we've got a couple of those. We'll put the um, put the spade back on the horse. So that should do that. And we don't have anything stolen, so we can just walk into town, no problem. But first things first, let's heal up. Actually, it's the energy that's the bottleneck here. So let's go up to at least 98. Now that's a skill I would love to have in real life. Like just to be able to click a button and fall asleep and stay asleep. Especially in the middle of the day. Oh nice. We spawned in the uh, the town. So that actually works out to our benefit because I think we were planning on coming up here anyways. Now we need to go to Tomberg again for Wojciech. And I don't actually don't think the tournament is ready just yet. So we can't do that one. No. We'll, we'll double check it but yeah I don't think that one's ready. Ride a horse, you moron! <laughs> I love bumping into people. The Lord be praised. Yeah, not quite ready yet, so we'll we'll have to wait a bit. You know what we do need to do? If we go to Ledechko, we can head to Talmberg after. We could do some archery training. Why don't we do that? That's actually a pretty good idea. Because, I mean, we have used bow and arrow quite a bit, even though we don't have a whole lot of skill in it. And I think if we get that trained up, we'll be in really good shape. So we gotta head to the bottom of the hill and then we'll cut across kind of where our, our house is, the, the mill, the millers, whatever you call it, the mill. And actually since we're here, we do have another we do have another quest we gotta deal with. And that is to smash up this one. Oh, you look like some What now? You don't give Oh no, she's not ready. She needs more time. Yeah, we've all heard that before. Alright, let's see if that guy's body's still here. Nope. 
So somebody came by and cleaned him up. Now we cross the river and I think we have to head this way and slightly to the left. So we'll get off the main road. Oh, no, we will not get off the main road. Yeah. This is a pretty cool little, I was going to call it an island, but it's not really an island. It's just surrounded by water. Yeah, I'm going to call it an island. I don't really care. Pretty cool looking little island. I don't think I've done a whole lot of um, exploration on this this area before. All right, you know the drill. Turn your head and cough. Give him a prostate exam. All right, one more. All right, we got it. And nice, we got a, a pickpocketing perk. So we're going to go with item expert. It's going to show stats on all the items on half, sorry, not all, but half the items that they have in their pockets. So we should know, you know, roughly what's in there. Yeah. Money, weapons, stuff like that. And we did just get into a town, so we should be officially in the Dechko. And yeah, we got to head down, down over here. Yep, here we go. This guy wants to do archery competition, so we'll probably spend some time doing this. Um, we'll do the first one. And then I'll probably edit the other ones out, but we'll at least get one. Let's make sure we are wearing our Von Brace. And food is getting low again. We don't have a whole lot, actually. We might need to go buy some. Or steal it. Yeah, we'll probably just steal it. So we'll just, we'll do the starter at 10. I don't want to lose the shower. That's the bed. May the Lord watch over. So we got to hit the logs. Oh, I won't miss the next one. Nice. That was actually a direct hit. That's a direct hit. And we'll aim for the one slightly in the back. Oh, too far. Aimed a little bit too high. That villager is really good. Three so far. Oh, man. <laughs> Almost shot him in the head. This guy, too. Oh, that looked like it should have been in. Yeah, that guy's hitting everything. Look at that. That's crazy. Right, that was long enough, but I aimed to the left, unfortunately. Let's go one of these back ones. No, nope. right, we're getting our butt kicked. There we go. We hit one. I think I've, I've been aiming a little bit too high. This this bow is, I think this is the cumin bow. It's really powerful, so it's, it's pretty accurate. We don't have to deal with a whole lot of drop. Uh, too much. Yeah, we may not be able to catch up. This guy's almost double us, and we have less less arrows than him. It's too bad we can't start punching this guy. Man, I don't know what I'm aiming at here. There we go. Hit. No chance against me, amateurs. All right, we're starting to get some hits pretty consistently now, but. These guys, this guy's got too many. I don't think we can catch up. Let's see. They may not have... Well, no, we don't have enough arrows. Because we're pretty much at the end now. Oh, I whiffed. You have no chance against me, amateurs. All right, well, we didn't win that one. So, how did it go? Second out of three. So we gained our money back. I'd like to try we'll do it again. Ah, I don't Let's go 10 again. And we'll do a better job this time. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is check our skill. So bow, we were at one with 63. Let's see what we get up to here. All right, starting off good. Ah, uh, we missed one. This guy hasn't missed one yet. All right, we got four out of five. It's pretty good. We have to aim a little higher on this one. Huh? Damn, missed. <laughs> It's so hard to judge the drop because at certain distances, there's like no drop. And if you go just a little bit past that, there's a huge amount of drop. Like at this distance, almost no drop. We're basically shooting straight at it. All right, so we used all of our arrows. We're pretty far in the lead, so I think we'll get this one. It looks like they don't use all their arrows. I didn't realize that on that last one. So, well done, Henry. You've come first. It looks like you really do know what you're doing with a bow. You're still not up to my standard, mind you, but a pretty good effort. Nice. We did get some bow skill for that too. Let's do it again. Cool.